revealed unto us that we are not under Satan's power anymore. Instead, very powerful verse, sabi doon, instead, Satan was under your feet. Amen? A great verse, a great remind, uh, reminding verse para po sa atin na uh, we ought to know that Satan, as of now, no, wala na po siyang kapangyarihan sa atin, wala na po siyang kapangyarihan sa ating mga buhay. No? But, uh, two-minute devotion is very, very short for me to be misunderstood. So I want to to speak directly po. Uh, before I continue our devotion po, allow me to talk directly to the point. And the truth is, if you did not yet place Jesus Christ in your heart, if you did not place your faith in Jesus Christ, if you are not going to heaven, if you are not, if you didn't receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and personal Lord, Satan is not yet under your feet, no? But he was where? Nasaan po siya? Tingnan niyo po sa Ephesians 2.2. Uh, Ephesians 2.2, Brad. Ephesians 2. Where in the time past, you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. Kapatid, pag hindi pa po si Cristo Jesus ang inyong Panginoon, ang inyong tagapagligtas, si Satan ay nasa unahan nyo. Leading your way in this world. Leading your walk in this world, no? So let us continue. So let me talk about now. Actually, um, actually uh, the, ang title po ng aking devotion today is Victory Over Satan. But... Before we continue on that, actually nag-prepare, pin- sin- 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 tinuloy-tuloy ko na siya. Pin-prepare ko na po siya as uh, a complete sermon or a complete devotion. Hindi lang naman, uh, we don't have, the Bible revealed also, uh, we have victory over sin. That's in Romans 6, 12, 14. Nandiyan ba si Brother JM? Ito yung memory verse niya eh. Let not sin therefore reign in your in your mortal body that ye should obey in the last thereof Verse 14, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under the grace. Therefore sin never ever have dominion over you. Yes, we are fa- uh, we are factory of sin. We sin every day, but never will happen that sin will, over domin- uh, will overpower you. You have a choice, kapatid. You have, you have the Holy Spirit that will always convict you to do the right things, the will of God, no? And not not only we have victory over the sin, we have victory over death. Oh, uh, first Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter fifteen fifty five. Oh, sabi ni Apostle Paul again. Oh, death, where is thy sin? Sting. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? We have we have victory over death. We have victory over sin. We have victory over the world, no? Over this current world that we are living for, no? Sabi doon, Sa John 6.33, Jesus Christ, as He speaks, sabi niya, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace, and in the world ye shall have tribul- tribulation, but be of good cheer, no? Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Amen. And sabi naman ni Apostle Paul sa Romans 8.37, sabi niya sa, sa brethren sa Rome, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. In those days, uh, Roman Empire is getting bigger and bigger, no? They are they are conquerors. And those army power used to persecute Christians. Pero ang sabi ng Apostle Paul, don't, do not worry, you are more than them. You are more than conquerors, no? But yet, let's go back to our topic. Victory over Satan, no? Victory over Satan. I just get this one one point po sa, ating, sa pinipare po nating uh, sermon. Kapatid, Satan is under your feet. Brethren, Satan is under your feet. Is that a good news or a bad news? Good news, yes. For our devotional message, I ask myself, no, when I read this passage, I ask myself, if Satan is under my feet as of now, what he, what he's doing there while he is under my feet? No? He keep bugging on my work. No, He keep bugging on my walk. He slow you down. He slow me down. He wants you to fall down. So he places traps and sabi sa Bible, stumbling blocks under your feet. No? 
he was busy there. Actually, yung motto ng world ngayon, never give up. Gali kay Satan yun eh. He never give up. Even though he knew that he will fall, he knew that he was beaten badly, yet, sabi niya doon, uh, hindi siya nagigive up para i-slow down yung mga Christiano, i-persecute yung mga Christiano, i-fold, ma-fold yung mga Christiano. So, he was busy there, no, under your feet. Kaya soon sa 2 Corinthians 2.11, sabi doon, 2 Corinthians 2.11, sabi doon, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorance of his devices. Kapatid, meron pang devices si Satan as of now. May ginagamit sa ating mga devices. Along our way, our, our walk, Satan is busy creating those devices. And today, I want you, and I want me myself, to be not ignorant of these devices. That's why a great, uh, I do believe a great Christian, a great Christian is a prepared Christian, no? And sabi ito sa Proverbs that uh, the preparation of the heart of, is from the Lord. No? The preparation of the man's heart is from the Lord. No? Ang Panginoon ay prepare sa atin and we have the greatest tool, our Bible. So let's go. Ano ba ano, ano ba itong mga devices na ginagamit ni Satan sa ating buhay, no? sa ating buhay kristyano? Number one is disappointment. Number one is disappointment. We have all been disappointed, no? Tumingin ka sa salamin, disappointed ka ba? I'm not. Kunyari. <laughs> by not getting what we wanted, by not getting what we desire, sometimes those desires, we pray for how many years, for how many days, but yet, we didn't meet it. In parang bang hindi natin na, na meet ito according to our way, according to our will, no? Because the will of God is different from our will. What we expect to happen, sometimes we disappointed, no? Sa mga hindi nangyayari sa ating buhay. But to the knowledgeable Christian, remember, all disappointments are God's appointment. All disappointments are God's appointments. It must be viewed as such or Satan will get advantage of us. Remember that if the disappointment kept unchecked, if you always be disappointed, if you always uh, thinking of your disappointment, it will become discouragement, another Satan's tool, and it will become despair, another great Satan's tool. How many uh, missions, how many tasks that us Christians didn't do because of this discouragement, because of disappointment? No? To be discouraged is to forget the verse, the very good verse, Romans 8.28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. All things, that's included the discouragement, that's included the disappointment. No? All things work it together for good. Number two is destruction. I believe in myself na itong destruction na ito ay the greatest tool of Satan in our daily age. Everyone is busy. Everyone is don't have time. Uh, because of simple distraction, sometimes it become hobby, sometimes it become passion, until it you, until it will use your all all your time, no. And don't forget, no. Distraction also comes in a good way, in the good view. No? That's the greatest enemy of us, no. Think it. Sometimes uh, Satan will use our family to become distraction. Sometimes, most of the time, Satan will use our work to become a destruction. And most of the time then, our own desire, what happened in our heart, start a desire and then it becomes destruction. No? Do you sacrifice the will of God to satisfy your own desire? You don't have to pray and read the Bible, but you have plenty of time to play, no? Good man can be sidetracked from perfect will of God by family or their job. So what I do, this is this is what I put in my mind, uh, in my heart actually. But I, I'm not bragging about na ako ay ganito malakas, kristyano. Pero I failed, 
a lot of time, no? I'm not that faithful, but this is what in my heart and this is what in my mind. I hope and so na matutunan din po natin lahat. Colossians 1.18 Colossians 1.18 At tingnan po natin doon, Brad, very important. Colossians 1.18 And he is the dead, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, in that in all things, all things that he might have the preeminence. This verse is talking about Jesus Christ. He should have the preeminence. And Tagalog is numero uno, first priority in our life. No. This is what I am trying to do for myself no na para bang uh, application in my life. There kasi ako din gusto ko la, gusto ko natututo, gusto kong mag-aral, mag- gumawa ng web application. Uh, sometimes ay gumagawa ako ng mga ganung bagay, nag-aaral. And yet before yung mga pinag-aaralan ko yun, i-send ko din sa Panginoon na para bang hinihiling ko sa Panginoon. So before I finish this task for myself, no, in my personal desire, I make sure that I have done something in the will of God, no. I I I I try my best na yun ang unahin ko. Tapusin ko muna yung bago ko gawin yung sarili desire ko. Number two thing na ginagawa ko is yung pag may gagawin ako ng long term, yung pang long term na para sa future sa akin sa mga anak ko. I make sure also na these things na gagawin ko is to bring I uh, will have a way to bring glory to him to our God no to our savior no Coloss- that yung ano ko naman doon uh, guiding verse ko doon is Colossians 3:23 no and ano ba yun ah. kaya brada uh, di kaya si brother Ronald doon so nakita ko si brother Ronald kaya di di ako makapag dati muna gusto ko mag-aral mag-program ng mga games no ng mga application games mga ganun pero I, Brother Ronald, uh, I make sure, parang wag naisip mo na hindi naman ito glorify sa Panginoon itong pagka natuto kang gumawa ng games. So, I set aside that. So, I set aside that plan. I don't want to be distracted. No, I don't want to be, uh, have this full distraction na hindi ko magagawa yung will ng Panginoon sa aking buhay. And, uh, what I'm saying is hindi ako lagi ganun, but this, what in, in crave in my heart. This is what I do in my heart. And then, For us a Christian, we should also do this, no? Kasi yun ang sabi ng Biblia, hindi ko po hindi po sabi ni Brother Ralph yun. To uh, one Satan's uh, devices is destruction, uh, disappointment, and last. Marami po to, no? Sa libro po na binigay ng amin pastor is 18 devices. Three tatlo lang po kinuwa. Gusto niyo ba 18? Wag, wag po, wag po. <laughs> so number three is dullness. Dullness. Dullness means sleepiness to the things of God, no? We are not called from the darkness unto His marvelous light just to sleep, just to enjoy those light, no? sa sunbathing. We are not called like that, no? We are not given eternal life without a purpose. You know, kapatid, yung a sober man, or even though he is not going to church, will always search for his purpose in his life, no? And he, if he find it, what a great joy it bring to his life, no? But yet, our, our Christian life, if you are a Christian right now, Jesus Christ given us a greater pur- purpose, no? I hope you know this. Uh, John 17.3, the meaning of eternal life, the essence of eternal life. Ang sabi doon, John 17 verse 3, And this is life eternal. Huh? Parang meaning ng life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God, in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Kapatid, we are given eternal life to know Jesus Christ. He died for us, yet we don't we know little about Jesus Christ. Uh, God the Father created the heaven and earth, created you, given you an air to breathe, but yet we know a little about God the Father. The Holy Spirit dwell in you. The Holy Spirit walk in you. The Holy Spirit uh, convicted you every day, every night, uh, put you in the right place, no? But yet, we know a little about Holy Spirit. That's why life eternal is meant to know, to have, ibig sabihin doon, uh, to know, uh, para bang a uh, uh, relationship, a fellowship between God and the human, us, man. We also have uh, immediate request upon receiving eternal life, di ba? 
ano po yun, to share this eternal life na na-receive natin to our loved ones. That's why in Acts, sabi doon, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. It's automatically na included yung ating, pong kapam, yung ating mga kamahal, mahala, no? Para bang gagamitin ka ng Panginoon para ma-save din yung ating buong family. So, don't sleep. Your family need them. Uh, uh, your family, what? your friend, your co-worker, sometimes in their life they will ask you. Send ko ba yun sa, once sa divorce, uh, Bible study namin, once you are saved, no, um, yung mga kapa, family mo, yung family mo, yung worker mo, they will see something, oh, bakit gumawa po ito? Oh. Wow. Oh, bakit nagbago lakad nito? Bakit iba na yung paniniwala? They will ask a question. And sabi nyo sa 1 Peter, no, you have to prepare. No? You have to prepare what you will answer to them. Revelations 22 and 12, this will be the, our last verse. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every, according man, uh, every man according to his work shall be. God is expecting you and me to work while we are while we are in this earth, no? And sabi doon, he, he will bring the reward, no? And don't sleep. Don't be dull. This is Satan's greatest tool against us. I'm done for this day. <laughs> Amen po. I